What's going on guys? David here again. Um, today I'm going to show you my man cave that I have set up and that's why you want to sit here with nothing behind me or anything. So I'm going to show you the man cave today and I'll give you a quick overview of some things. I'm not going to get into too much detail on all of it. might do some reviews of products and stuff that I have in there and use later on if y'all are interested or whatever. So stay tuned for those. But I just want to give you a quick overview of it. It is in my upstairs in my house. We have a bonus room over our garage. Decent size, not huge, not anything crazy, but made the space work. A lot of my friends love it. What matters most, I love it, because that's what I made it for, was for me to enjoy, get away from everything. So let's go up here and see it. Uh, as of course you come in, you gotta have the roll tide thing. This is actually for outside, but we're not quite in fall yet. Don't even know if there's gonna be a football season yet, but have to have that up here. A little surfboard I got in Cozumel. Same thing for the Saints one, a little surfboard got in Cozumel when we went on a cruise. And this is the room. Pretty nice little setup, I guess, for me anyway. Uh, of course, well, I guess we'll start down here. Just got the fridge. You know, I don't think there's anything crazy in it right now. A couple beers, a couple whatevers. Um, put a Saints magnet on it because I didn't want to pay a crazy amount of money for an actual Saints one. Uh, sign, some signed jerseys, Kamara, Michael Thomas, Drew Brees is super expensive, hard to get, not paying $500 for signed jersey, sorry. Some of my favorite teams, you know, the championships or whatever. Uh, of course, as you can tell, got a nice strip pole here just for fun or whatever, spins around everything, gets a little bit of use here and there. Um, bought these at Walmart, the uh, Big Joe uh, beanbag chairs, surprisingly, they sit really well. They're about $35 or whatever. They sit great. The kids love them. Um, adults love them. Let's go ahead and pick you some up. Uh, right here, got two arcade games. Uh, I got Golden Tee and Mortal Kombat uh, over here. Uh, if we walk down to this side, got Street Fighter, Pac-Man, Ninja Turtles, NBA Jam. Uh, I'll do some reviews on these for you later. They're big arcade groups. Actually, these are called arcade one-up machines, if you don't know. Um, they're awesome. I absolutely love them. Give them kind of a different vibe, feel. Uh, old school. Of course, I'm a, I'm a 90s baby. I was born in the 80s, but I remember the 90s when all these were real popular, in my opinion. So when they started coming out, the nostalgia factor hit. Had to get a couple of them. People come over, have a couple drinks, watch the games. They love playing them and stuff, so just gives another little extra thing to it. Uh, of course, they're all backlit. And one thing you'll learn, I love any kind of party light or whatever. So, of course, all the machines are backlit. Got some backlit lighting there. Uh, they were like the $4, $5 ones at Walmart. I didn't do anything expensive because I was going to get a lot of these machines. Didn't want to spend that kind of money. Um, not like the one behind that TV. That one's got Philips Hue and then the two bulbs. Here are all Philips Hue. And those are very expensive lights. Um, they're great, and I love them, but for the price, I wouldn't recommend them. I'd actually recommend the light I have down under here. It's a Govee light you can get on Amazon. To give you an idea, that's a 16-foot strip. I uh, went for $22, I believe, on Amazon, where that strip, and I had to get the extension for it, it's about $120 for that strip to go around that TV. They're both bright, they're both awesome. Um, but the Govee one's cheaper, so let's save a little money and go with that. I would say the Philips Hue is a little more ease of use, maybe than the Govee, even though the Govee's super easy to use, so that's not a big deal. That's not, we're not doing a review on that today. Just kind of bringing that up to let you know. Um, this is the big thing I did is I wanted, I found this, I don't know if it was on Pinterest or where I found it, but I love the idea of having the three TVs here. I do fantasy football, of course, in the fall. We love college football. We love all sports. So it's great to have the main game. You know, the Saints on right here. You know, I got one buddy who loves the Dolphins. Another buddy loves the Chiefs. And I have to make room for another buddy who likes the Raiders and stuff. But to come over here, hang out, have a couple beers, be able to watch all your games. You can Even if the Saints aren't on, I can keep up with fantasy football players all over. We can put one on red zone and keep up with everything. So it's either between this or a big, like, uh, drop-down screen. Sorry, I didn't want to make that move too much, but it's either this or a drop-down screen, you know, 120 inches, 140 inches, whatever it was, and uh, but you can only watch one thing on it. 
Now the only update I might do to this is one of those drop down screens and I'd have to fight with this fan and figure out how I'm going to beat the fan or whatever but then I can do a drop down screen and you can watch uh, movies or whatever in a big screen immersive experience more than, I mean that's a 75 inch TV so it's already big, the two side ones are 42 inch, they're all LG which I'll say is, is a mistake but it's not. It's a mistake in the fact that one remote controls all of them and if you're not up here directly pointing each TV it'll change all TVs. I probably would have done it again, probably stay with the big LG in the middle and then go to uh, Samsung's or something on each side that way at least had a different remote and I don't have to get up every time. Good thing for me is I use Direct TV so I get Sunday ticket and in that case each remote goes for each box but if I want to use the actual TV like YouTube TV or anything like that it's all they control each other so I have to get up instead of staying in my seat and being lazy but so far I love this don't know if I'm going to do the drop down my roof actually kind of tilts here so I could probably get a projector back there and not be messing with the fan and have it but what am I really getting out of 75 inches TV we've watched movies on it it's been awesome I love it so and our main thing is sports so we can turn around in the spring and watch baseball NASCAR have basketball on the channel March Madness three basketball games going at once not a big basketball guy have friends that are still fun to watch fun to do especially in March Madness starts so absolutely love the TV setup ah uh, moving on let's move y'all this way so here I'm gonna show is basically that I went and this was the other thing I kind of fought with and trying to decide what I wanted to do and um, seating arrangement originally we had this big couch against the wall the love seat over there and we had the chair over here on my right side and it worked fine, it worked well, but of course, you know, kind of limited seating because anybody who sat on either side, only one person could really sit there to watch the screens. Um, and of course, with these couches, it's three seaters, but who really wants to sit right like that? You know, you have the person sit on each side and that's it. So I was like, what way can we do this to make this better? And I always like the theater style seating with the riser. But then I didn't know if I want to do it on this side of the room and face the TVs over here versus where they are. I want to be able to use the whole room. So I decided to go ahead and build this. Uh, I actually built the deck to raise the platform to raise it up. And it turned out it was really easy. You know, this one got some, uh, I believe, two by sixes. And then uh, some, I did two three quarter inch plywood stacked on top of each other. Brought it up to almost eight inches. I think it's like seven and a half or whatever. Um, got the carpet to match. Uh, carpet uh, or the padding that goes under the carpet under it wood glue screws just brought each piece up in here cut it downstairs that I needed to brought what I needed to up here started screwing it all together uh, wood glue screwed it all in put the carpet on it's not perfect but hey I mean I built that for I think around 150 bucks if you go anywhere you can only buy one side for like two three hundred dollars so it worked out great nobody knows nobody cares just get on and do your thing. And then I always like the theater stuff where you had the blue lighting under it. Now, of course, the lighting, I can get this to change colors. It flashes with the music and stuff. As you can see, I can kind of turn this into kind of a club area too. But right now, I just keep it on the blue and that's pretty bright. I think that's on probably 60 or 70%. If you turn it on 100%, it lights up this whole thing, especially if I turn all the lights off in here, it will light that up. So I have to keep that subdued, turned down to about five or 10%, especially if a movie's on. But it's great because you don't want the little one falling off or anything, or even the wife at that, for that matter, or me. Don't want them falling off of this, trying to go downstairs to get a drink or go to the bathroom or whatever while the movie's playing, or if you pause it, but you don't want to turn all the lights back on. Big deal, right? So love the riser, love how it all turned out. Real simple, maybe eventually, upgrade the furniture, maybe put some actual theater chairs, but those are actually really comfortable. They sit well, have cup holders, that whole nine, you know, some cheap little side tables, no big deal. Uh, my buddy actually got me that print. One of my best friends bought me that the print. Now, of course, the light's in the way. There's a glare. It's the, uh, well, it's the Alabama National Championship against LSU. Love it. So it's in the Superdome and it's in Alabama. Gotta love that. 
Wife bought me these two. They're actually bat lit, but they have batteries, and of course they don't last or anything, but I thought that was really cool. Blackout curtains all through. Really does a good job of keeping the light out, except for the little top on there. No big deal. Live with it. Um, let's see, I'll do a trash can, just some other little stuff. A lot of space here. Clip sub. Right now I'm running a Yamaha home theater system. Cheap. I think, I think the whole system was like $500. Really good system for the price, but it didn't have a lot of thump in the base. So I upgraded to a clip sub. It's not even, it's like the $200 one. But it, it booms really good for its price point and stuff and really woke this system up. Eventually, I'm going to switch everything to Clips. Love their product line, but I've already spent a whole lot of money in here in the past year or so. And I uh, don't really care to change them until it sounds horrible or I can notice a difference. I don't have the best ears in the world, so what clear is clear to me at this point. Um, I bought these sound panels. And they're actually the corrugated board. So these things, these little sound pieces are glued onto the corrugated board. And then I have little tape strips onto the wall. So these are not nailed. There's no holes or anything. Um, so they come down real easy, won't damage the wall. I actually have them up here on the roof too, or on the ceiling, not the roof. The ceiling back there, I've got a set over there, whatever. And it helps that go. I have noticed a little bit of a difference they're not the expensive ones. Did they really make a super difference? I don't know, but they seem to. And of course I've added base traps in the corners that I could. Do they work perfectly? Is this another situation of the Yamaha? I just like the black and the blue and maybe they work or maybe somebody with better ears comes in here and they can tell the difference. Great. I can't super tell a difference, but it seemed to help. Some will say it does help. Ah, uh, of course, you know, just a lot of memorabilia, big sports guy. Love these games and stuff. Like I said, I'll come back, talk more about the games, give you some reviews if you're interested. Like I said, there's a whole lot of information on them. There's like a cult following for these arcade one-up machines. I absolutely love them. They're, they're a little pricey for what they are, but a, a real machine, you know, it's gonna be $3,000, $2,000. These, I think start about 300 or whatever. They work great. They're smaller too, which fits in this room better. Um, like I said, I'll talk more about them later. And I just mainly want to show you the room, man. This is my little space come up to. And like I said, I can switch all these lights out, you know, and turn them darker, turn it down, make it feel a lot more like a cave, which I can come back in here and do another little review where I've got all, I've got a laser light up there, laser light down there. I've got other lights to put in here. Um, crank the music up get the lights going, have a lot of fun, have a few beers. We've had a bunch of parties up here. People thankfully love coming over. It makes me feel good to provide a place that people can come over and hang out. As soon as all this Rony Rona stuff goes by, hopefully we can have more and hopefully we get a football season this year. That's why I've already got buddies coming over like, hey man, just like this, we want to watch, you know, three, four games or whatever, make a weekend of it, college football. You know, we would have Pac-12 on one side, SEC, SEC, and just being here watching all the games and enjoying it, having a good time, grilling out on the pit boss. So that's the room, man. Hope y'all enjoy. Of course, you can tell I'm from New Orleans. Got the Bourbon Street sign up there. Got a couple signed things here. Trent Richardson, David Palmer. Probably none of y'all care about that. But here, let's get a look from this side. There's the stage, or not the stage, the platform with the blue light under it. And all that man little hangout spot over there and like I said any any future plans we'll go ahead and wrap it up with that I said maybe a drop down screen that kind of just came to me a night or two ago I was like man we could do a drop down screen there I could have that 120 inches do a movie don't really know if I want to spend the money on it or if I care 75 inches plenty big enough we'll deal with that uh, these arcade one-up machines, they've got some more coming out, maybe a racing game or shooter game. I love shooting, so hopefully it's something good. Might buy it, have to get rid of one of these, might convert one of these to a multi-cade to where it has like six, seven hundred thousand games on it that you can play instead of buying a thousand of these things. I don't really have the space for it because what I would absolutely love to do is bring this spot out, put some kind of bar, bar top on, of course it's on carpet, I kind of want to go LVL with the floor or LVP with the floor. 
my can't do that, <laughs> you know. Uh, wife said she likes coming up here when we're hanging out, having a good time, laying on the floor and doing whatever, having a good time. <laughs> I'm taking a nap, I guess. Um, but it is more comfortable. I'll definitely say I like carpet a lot more. Of course, holds allergens and all that, and a whole other story. Love to have a bar here. Not Might not be possible. I like having the arcades. Like I said, people like to come over and play them and stuff. My space might just kill that and just enjoy football, having a few beers, playing a few games. Hopefully, the other thing might get an Xbox. You know, something like that, maybe. Maybe a retro gaming system in 64 or something. Just something like that. That's one place that I can come to, hang out on the weekends. And if I don't go anywhere, no big deal. Friends come over. They have plenty of things to do. Um, if one's not caring to watch football and they would rather play a game, they can. Vice versa. Who cares? If you have any ideas, hey, hit the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you got any ideas, love it, hate it, whatever. Don't care. It's mine. You do you. And uh, but hopefully gave you some ideas. Like I said, this is the one all my all my buddies like. They love the three TV look. I've got some that want to try it and do it themselves, or maybe modify it and do the big TV here, two little ones on the side. I can ramble on this for hours and I'm already doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. But I hope I inspired some of y'all. Like I said, building the stage is easy, doing this stuff. Uh our uh attic is right behind it that made it easy to run wires and stuff i got somebody professionally to do that because i'm not an electrician i don't do good with that stuff but watching him it was super easy so this stuff is not hard i've nothing i've done up here is hard and if i can do it you can do it or trade it out with somebody that you know whichever one works man but anyway y'all stay tuned for the next one like i said do some reviews on these machines maybe on the tvs the phillips hue versus these govi lights or whatever whatever anybody wants to know about you know, I've used it for a while. You can use it too. Y'all have a good one. Bye.